Okay, this is the project I'm most excited to work on this year. Above my um, baby grand, I have a chandelier, and I got an inspiration from a Pottery Barn magazine this year. And I do decorate my chandelier, but I saw something that it is just dripping with stuff. And so here are all my pieces that I might use on it. <laughs> It's ridiculous. I don't know what I'm going to pick, but I'm really excited to get started. And this, this particular um, event may take me several hours. I don't know, but bear with me, and I hope to show you step by step. The first thing I did was take some old garland from the garage. If you recall on the last episode, I was telling you how I, it was garland that I was going to throw away. I pulled it out of the garage snipped it to length and I just put it around each of the arms of the um, chandelier. Honestly, just like this, it looks beautiful. Um, but I think I'm going to put another uh, row right down here so we have more room in which to hang our ornaments. As you can see, I added the second row of garland. And it's nothing special. Again, I'm telling you, it's not that great of a garland. But from a distance, it looks fabulous, I think. And then I am starting the process of hanging ornaments. And again, this is going to be hit or miss. You're going to hang ornaments and then stand back and maybe not like the placement. And don't get frustrated. Everybody does this. I will switch things up or take things from another area to, to make it fill in in another part of the, um, of the house. And that's why decorating takes so very, very long because you just want it to you want it to feel good to you when you're, it, the end result has to feel good to you and sometimes you'll have a statement piece like this chandelier I hope to be and then something else in the house isn't quite as great as you might have wanted it to be because you took things but that's okay after the holiday you can go and buy a piece to go in that area that you're not as crazy about and it's 50 to 75 percent off. I think everybody wins. Okay I'm going to keep decorating and I'll keep showing you, and you step by step what we do. Here are um, all the ornaments that I've added so far, I, I just did varying heights and hung it from, um, on some of them I hung them from this gorgeous, um, I don't know, gold threaded uh, wire. It's a wire Christmas thread. It's absolutely gorgeous. I love it. Um, and you can manipulate it really nicely and make the things hang where you want to. I have to just settle for this right now. And then I'm going to go back through and um, add some other stuff up top to see what changes I want. But like I said, you have to step back. You've got to look at it. And then you need to keep adding stuff. And just as I watch right here, this one ornament's hanging really low. I feel like I need something right there. And that's just by stepping back and looking at it and going back and adding more things. I don't think any more ornaments right now. I think I need to add some some gold sprays in um, interspersed throughout that greenery now and break that up a little bit. So I'll see what I'm going to do. Not sure yet. I'll show you. So I've added this beautiful um, gold berry and I intertwined it amongst the greenery. I have not gone all the way around the um, chandelier yet. I wanted to see first if I really loved it and I think I do. Now, what I'm feeling like I'm lacking now is down lower in the greenery, lower there. I feel like I need to add um, some kind of uh, gilded foliage as well. So I do have some pine cones that I'm thinking, pine cones with um, some glittery um, pine needles that I think I may try next. So I'm going to continue with the remainder of the um, gilded berries up top, and then I will show you <laughs> if I decide to do the pine cones down below. But so far, look at this has been really, really easy. Really, really easy, step by step. You can do it. By far, the hardest thing I've done so far is hanging these pine cones. And the reason being is the more stuff you start placing and the more items you start overlapping, uh, the harder it gets because there's obviously limited space in which to manipulate your items and I'm, I don't want to get too heavy on my chandelier either both um, aesthetically and weight wise I mean it is only a small chain up there so anyway 
I'm almost finished. I am going to give it a whirl. I do have some beautiful brown poinsettias that I'm going to try to um, add in there just around the base, um, tucked in there. I don't know if I'm going to like it. It may be a little bit much. I'm going to give it a try and I'll show you the end result. But so far, this is what we have. It's kind of hard to see with that lighting. I wish it, there, there we go. There we go. That's what we've done. I'm really pleased. I like it. Okay, here's the end result of the chandelier. I'm really pleased with it. I switched a few of the ornaments around just for balance. Um, and again, like I told you, you'll have to uh, step back and look at it. But it glitters beautifully. And again, don't be intimidated by this. Remember, it's just a layering process. And you can do this at home too. Thank you for watching Designs by Michelle.